Welcome to the GardenShop.ie How to Garden video. In this video, we will show you how to test your soil's nutrient and acidity status. So, what would you need to do that? Well, firstly, we have a simple glass of water, your prepared soil sample, and thirdly, what we have here on the Garden Shop is the soil test kit available on the GardenShop.ie. So we'll explain each now. Uh, obviously, glass of water is straightforward. The second thing here is your soil sample. And I have this prepared already because when doing this experiment, you need to prepare your soil sample uh, 24 hours before doing the test. So what it involves is basically choose a sample of soil from anywhere in your garden, anywhere that you intend on using, maybe a vegetable plot or a herbaceous border. Um, you will then want to take maybe a garden trowel and dig down about six inches into the soil and take out a sample of soil. Place the sample of soil into a jar of water like this and then fill the jar of water two thirds full uh, with uh, water basically. Okay, so what we have in, the sample, in here in this jar is a sample of soil and tap water. Okay. So uh, that's all, that, that sits there then for 24 hours and what we want to occur then is for the soil to settle and for the water and the nutrients basically to dissolve into each other and to rise to the top. And that should have happened at this point. The next thing you'll need is, as I said, the soil test kit, which we have here. And we also have it laid out in front of me here. We have four different test chambers. The first one is our pH test, which is test the soil acidity levels. The second one we have here in pink or purple is the uh, nitrogen test, which tests the amount of nitrogen available in your soil. The, the third test here, the blue one is phosphorus, and this tests the amount of phosphorus available in your soil. And lastly, this is the potassium test, which tests the amount of potassium in your soil. And you'll find that nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are the three most important elements that a plant needs to be added to the soil. And they're the three uh, most common elements that you will find in any fertilizer, such as what we have here, Grow More, another product available on the garden shop that I Within the Grow More, a general multi-purpose compost will be a particular ratio of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Okay, so we'll just run you through how to do the soil test now. So, uh, with the soil test you also get a pipette and obviously the test chamber. So I'm going to take the phosphorus test chamber, I'm going to take off the lid. The first thing you want to do then is using the pipette, we're going to take a sample of water from our soil sample here. You basically just push the pipette into the water and you only want to take a sample of water from the top two centimetres of the sample and then squirt it in then to the test chamber side of the kit. So you can see on this side, if you can come in to close looking in at the top, this side here is the side where the sample water goes in. So I'll just do it again, just two centimeters down, and then pipette, the sample water just goes into this side chamber. Fill it almost to the top. Okay, and there you go. So the water will be slightly murky, but that's perfectly normal. This is a soil sample mixed with water, so that's what we're after. In the second chamber, we just fill that with normal water. Okay. This is just to give us a clearer reading when we get to the end of the experiment. So this takes it out four or five squirts of the pipette. So you can see it going in there all the way to the top. And one more. And then once you have both chambers filled, you take your sample test capsule. You should get eight of these per test chamber, meaning you can do eight separate experiments per chamber, which is a total of 28 tests. So carefully open the capsule, watching the powder go straight into the test chamber here. Okay, get every bit of it in. Okay, 
that's it all in and then you want to just close the chamber and shake it very well okay now this is after shaking it so I will shake it vigorously and allow it to settle for about five minutes so we'll put this to the side after shaking it quite hard and I'll just allow that to set over to the side and to show you a test that we have already done here, which I done previously, maybe about a half an hour ago. This is a test for potassium. So you can just see, I'll just bring this one over to it. One that is settling, and one that, on this side here, the orange one, the potassium test, has already settled out. And you can see the color coding and the indication. It's maybe not so straightforward to pick up, but you can see this is the color of your soil, and on the opposite side is the indicator telling you what condition your soil is in, in regard to potassium. The results that I can see is that I am here is the same color as here. Therefore, I am what's known as K2 deficient in potassium, is the reading coming back from the soil sample. If that's clear enough. So with that, having done that experiment, having read the indicator, I can see that from my soil sample, I'm slightly deficient in potassium. Therefore, knowing that my soil is slightly deficient in potassium, I should choose a particular fertilizer that is high in potassium. One such fertilizer would be any of your tomato feeds, generally higher in potassium. Another example of a fertilizer higher in potassium would be a 10-10-20, which is a general fertilizer. 10, 10, 20 is the, the last digit being 20 is refers to potassium. So uh, that would be it really. That's the explanation for how to test your soil acidity and pH levels. Again, the test kit is a product available on thegardenshop.ie.